So you've got a flash drive or thumb drive and you'd like to password protect it so others can't access your data. Well, today we're gonna to show you how to password protect your flash drive and it's free in Windows 11. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. First things first, go ahead and plug your flash drive into your computer. So jumping over to our desktop here, the next thing we need to do is open our file explorer. So if you have a shortcut here at the bottom, you can click on that. If you don't have a shortcut, head on over to your start menu here. We're gonna right click on it, not left click, but right click. And you should see the file explorer option right there. You can go ahead and left click on that and your file explorer should load up. Now we're looking for our flash drive here on the left hand side. Mine happens to be the D drive right here and it's called USD-USB. Yours could be a different letter as well as a different name. It might be Lexar, it might be SanDisk, it might be Kodak. You'll just need to search for your flash drive here under this PC on the left-hand side here. And once you find that and you make sure it is the correct drive, we're going to right click on it. So when you right click, a little menu is gonna pop up here and we're looking for the option that says show more options here towards the bottom. Now, if you're doing this on Windows 10 rather than Windows 11, the option we're looking for in the next step might be located in this area. But we'll go ahead and left click on show more options. And we are looking for turn on BitLocker right here. You should see that. We'll go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna load up the BitLocker drive encryption tool here that we can put a password on our drive. Now. It says, choose how you want to unlock this drive. And we're looking for the first option here, use a password to unlock this drive. The second option is for smart cards and we're not doing that today. So let's go ahead and select this first option and we can enter a password. And it says, password should contain uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, spaces, and symbols. I'm gonna put this in here. When I tried this before, I believe it needed eight characters to work. So let's try this. And then you can re-enter the password here, make sure they match. And once you've done that, just go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna ask us how we will want to back up our recovery key. So this is if you forget the password, there's a recovery key, it's big, it's long, um, how you want that stored. So you can do that with your Microsoft account, you can save it to a file, which is just a kind of digital document that has the key, or you can print it. Today I'm gonna save to file. It's gonna ask me where I'd like to save that. So I'm gonna just click on my desktop. I'll save it to my desktop. I can put it somewhere else, save later. And it's gonna save that to my desktop. Now, if I minimize this, you can see that that BitLocker recovery key is right here. So make sure you hang on to that. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit next here. And it's gonna give us two options here. It says choose how much of the drive to encrypt. And the first option is encrypt use disk space only faster and best for new PCs and drives, and it'll encrypt all future documents you put on there. And then the second one is encrypt entire drives, slower but best for PCs and drives already in use. I'm gonna do the second one and make sure the entire drive is encrypted. So let's go ahead and select that. We'll hit next. And then it's gonna ask us which encryption mode we'd like to use. There's two options here. There's new encryption mode. This says it's for computers at least running Windows 10, so Windows 10 and 11. And then there's compatible mode, which would go back to previous versions as well. I'm gonna just use the newer one because I only use Windows 10 and 11 computers here. So we are all set. From there, we'll go ahead and hit next. And it says, are you ready to encrypt this device? If you're good with that and you have the password written down, let's go ahead and hit start encrypting. Again, don't forget that password. And it's gonna start encrypting your flash drive here. And this could take a little bit of time. Last time I did this, it took about 20 minutes to half an hour on a 32 gigabyte flash drive. Could depend on the speed of your computer as well. So I'll come back to you once this is complete and show you how to use the password. And there we go, it is complete. That took about 24 minutes to do. Um, we can go ahead and hit close here. I'm gonna go ahead and eject that flash drive and then I will unplug it and plug it back in and show you how to use the password. So to use the password here, we'll head on down to our start menu and we'll right click, go to our file explorer. And you can see that our drive now has a little lock on it right there. If we click on that, it's gonna ask us for a password here in the corner. We can put in our password. We'll hit enter or hit the unlock button and it's gonna unlock that drive. You can see it's unlocked there. And really it's that simple to add a password to your flash drive for free here in Windows 11.